And thanks to Videocom Bridge for Zoom and the NDI Tools Studio Monitor, I'm able to bring Michael into the room with me. Michael, how you doing? Hey, it's good to be here. Oh, did you remind everybody about your book yet? Today, I'd like to tell you about some news related to Videocom Bridge for Zoom, the awesome program made by Andre Savic and the folks over at Videocom. They have dropped version 1.5.4, which contains some important updates and will have an impact on the way you use this program if you've been a long time user of it. If you've never heard of Videocom Bridge for Zoom, it is a fantastic program for live and hybrid event productions where you need to bring in participants from Zoom and bring them into your main live stream mix, put them up on a TV screen or on a projector in your venue. What it allows you to do is take clean feed video outputs from participants in your Zoom call or your Zoom webinar and send them anywhere over the network using NDI. If you're using mixing software like OBS, Mimo Live, Wirecast, a new tech TriCaster or vMix, Videocom Bridge for Zoom is a fantastic way to get those clean feed video outputs of participants, screen shares, the gallery, whatever you need to get into your live stream mix. Best of all, you can have multiple bridges open so that you can have different clean feeds. For example, you could have a clean feed of your main speaker. You could have a clean feed of their screen share. Works on both Windows and Mac. Full disclosure, we've used it on our own virtual and hybrid productions, and it has been great every single time. Like I mentioned, version 1.5.4 was just released, and it contains a major update to Videocom Bridge for Zoom. In particular, Zoom has updated their privacy policy, so any third parties that are going to be recording or capturing the Zoom meeting content in some way have to provide a notice and be given and permission before they can get those outputs. If you're a longtime user of Videocom Bridge for Zoom, this is going to be a change to your workflow, and I want to take you through it on one of our own productions. Let's get started. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be bringing in two NDI feeds. I want to capture a feed of my assistant, Michael, who is coming in over Zoom, and he will also be sharing his screen. Now, behind me is a TV, and I want to be able to switch between Michael and the share screen, and I'll be doing this using the NDI Tools Studio Monitor and switching sources. So let's come back to the Mac. I've got the latest version of Videocom Bridge for Zoom installed. I've got two bridges set up, and I'm going to start the first one. Now, on the Mac, I've got this message saying, waiting for recording consent. So I will not get any NDI output out of any of the Zoom participants until the host of the meeting grants recording consent to the Zoom bridge. If I try to use the Videocom bridge for Zoom as an NDI source right now, I will just get an NDI feed that says Zoom recording consent needed. I will not get anything until the host grants that recording consent. The host of the meeting will now see this prompt come up. Tractus Bridge One is requesting to record this meeting. Until the host hits allow recording, there will be no NDI feeds generated for any of the participants. So the host will need to click this allow recording button. If you check off apply these permissions to all future requests, when you add more bridges to the meeting, the host will not see this same message for each of those bridges. Zoom now notifies everybody that the meeting is being recorded with the usual, this meeting is being recorded voice. People have the option to say, got it, or leave the meeting if they don't consent to the recording. And now if we switch back over to the Mac view, you'll see that I'm now able to select pinned participant, gallery view. I'm able to use Videocom Zoom Bridge as it's designed, and we can start sending out NDI feeds. Watch this. So I've got two bridges set up. One I'm going to set to be my intrepid producer, Michael Van Rossum. And the other one I'm going to set to be his screen share. Now I've got two NDI feeds, one with Michael and one with the screen that he's sharing. Let's take a look and throw that up on the studio monitor behind me. And thanks to Videocom Bridge for Zoom and the NDI Tools studio monitor, I'm able to bring Michael into the room with me. Michael, how you doing? Hey, it's good to be here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. 
Thanks for having me on, Eli. Oh, did you remind everybody about your book yet? Thank you for the reminder. I haven't let people know. And again, thanks to the magic of screen share and Videocom Bridge for Zoom, I can show them what you've got on your screen, which is a copy of my book, Memorable, Profitable, Virtual. And you can grab that at tractiseventscom slash book. So that's a quick overview about the changes that are in Videocom Bridge for Zoom. If you're already a customer, go download the latest update, practice with this new workflow. And if you've never heard of Videocom Bridge for Zoom before, give it a trial run. They have a free trial available. Outputs are watermarked, but you'll find that it's fantastic in your live and hybrid event productions. My name is Elias Prunin. I thank you for joining me. If you like this content, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Check out some more of our videos all about virtual and hybrid event production. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.